a growing Christian, we have a consistent daily prayer and Bible study life. Why? Because God himself recommends it. It's an order from God. It's a spiritual, it's a divine recommendation. In Joshua 1, the Bible says, you know, this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. In other words, this word of God shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it. How many, how many days? Day and night. What is day and night, please? A day. Every day. So you must look at the Bible daily. Study the Bible daily. Meditate on it daily. That you may what observe to do according to all that is written. Because you can never do what you don't know. You can never do what is not what you don't understand. To do all. All, not some. That is written in it. And look at everybody, look at me. One of the problems that Christians, that I see Christians do that, that they fool themselves. When they ignore the commandments of God, they think they are fooling pastors, fooling God, but you are fooling yourself. Look at the result. Who's going to get the result? God of the pastor. You. He said, for then you will make your way. Not your, not if, as a matter of fact, if, the, if, 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 if my wife and I have been married for almost 21 years in June by God's grace, if I, everybody watch me, it is my growth that will give me my success. She may enjoy part of the success because we are married, but I can't borrow her growth into my own growth. She has to grow and have to grow. So that I, for then, everybody can read it together and put yourself there and say, I, for then, I will make my way prosperous, my way prosperous, and then I will have what? Good success. Well, that is what everybody is looking for in this world. An average person that, that has sanity looking for prosperity and success in life. So, why are we going to be running from what is gainful? Like uh, Bishop Debo will say, you know, you cannot be shamed for what is gainful. If you are shamed for what is gainful, then something is wrong. You don't read the Bible, study your Bible because they said you should read in the Bible. No! Because God said it, that is your life. That is where your success is. And look, you, it's not something you read. Students, we have students that are graduating next month, me. Okay? Lolo, you just graduated in uh, Lolo, you graduated in uh, December. Let me ask you a question. Before you could succeed, did you read your books and go to, and you went to class every now and then, or every day? Every day of this semester. Just you are graduating next month. Right? Okay. How many times do you study your book and go to class? Are you sure every day? Why? Why don't you go once a month? And read your book once a month. What will be your outcome? Zero. Failure. Now, put into spirituality. God says meditate on this how many times? Day and night. Now, some people don't touch you all week. And you want to succeed. Everybody's a responsibility. We cannot put our responsibility on God. He has his own part. We have our own part. Let us put that. So if you don't have a consistent Bible study and prayer life daily, your success will be, will be difficult. I'm not talking about money now and buying a big house. That, that's not what I mean. Because, because we think, I mean, people that don't read Bible, they have a big house. Okay, let them, hit, let them hit turbulence of life. You see what happens. Have you not read? My peace I give to you. The Bible says, peace will they have. Psalm 119 verse 165. Great peace have those who love what? Your love. And nothing considered to stumble. Did he say money? People that have money stumble every day. People that have position and power stumble every day. That, that, does that make sense? We say, but great peace. Great, not just peace. Great peace. Have those who love your love. Nothing considered to stumble. Nothing. It's not, he didn't say challenges will not come. But he said the challenges will not cause it to stumble. So that's the power of the word 
the word. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And nothing was made without the word. So to make your life, for me to make my life, for you to make your life, you must involve in the word daily. That is where the success comes from. The word, the word, this word. It's not for decoration. It's not for school. It's not for coaching. It's not for preaching. It's for living. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. Your Christ says, Man shall not live by food alone, but by every word. Matthew 4, 4, please. But by every word, every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. But the answer I said, it is written, it is what? Written. Man shall not live by bread alone or by food alone, but how? But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Every word. A wordless, everybody look at me. I'm about to make a statement. Just you a wordless Christian will be a wordless Christian. A wordless Christian, a wordless Christian will be a wordless Christian. You will not have any word because you don't have the word. It is the word that gives the word. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God, and the word created all things. And there was nothing made without the word. For you, and I, for you and I to make our world, we must have the world. Then to make our world, we must also have the world. It is the world. The world. That's why in this church is the world. The world. The world. The world. 